Okay. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. As you may know, we're going to have Thursday today on um, September 21st, 2023. And we will continue learning on this thing that is uh, learning English. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Uh, let me show you what's going to be today's class. Um, we're going to work at with review and vocabulary, pretty much. Okay. Uh, this is our last class of this module. So uh, it's my pleasure to be here with you one more time. And practicing this thing that is called um, learning English. So welcome. And I hope all of you are okay at home. Yes. And ready to learn something new. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to work with section number five, crossing cultures. Uh, and this is pre-intermediate English module number one. Okay. So thank you so much for being here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to have you. It's raining in some places, as you may know. Yeah. Mm, here in San Salvador, it's somehow uh, raining. So welcome. It's nice to have you. One more time. Okay, we're gonna work with vocabulary first. Let's begin. Here we have a vocabulary log that is from this um section. Number five, as you may see, we have some things about felons. Yes. Do me a favor, Jose Lino, please read all this vocabulary, please. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Evening. Out. Anxious. Cheerful. Comfortable. Confident. Curious. Depressed. Embarrassed. Enthusiastic. Excited. Fascinated. Launch. I don't know how to change. Homesick, hopeful, insecure, lonely, nervous, silly, sleep, sleepy, uncertain, uncomfortable, worried. Thank you so much. So here we have these feelings. Yes, very good. Like anxious, cheerful, uh, comfortable, uh, confident. Sometimes some people say comfy. Okay, that's it's quite the same, right? Comfy. Uh, curious, depressed, curious. embarrassed, uh, enthusiastic, excited, fascinated. Grouchy, uh, homesick, helpful, insecure, lonely. Oh, there is a song from Justin Bieber that is lonely. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, nervous, proud, silly. That is a silly joke. Sometimes we say that. Oh, that was a silly joke. Uh, sleepy. Yes, yeah, sometimes we feel like that, right? Pretty much when we like, uh, I don't know, we go to bed late. Sometimes at the next in the next day, I right, would feel like, oh, I'm sleepy somehow. I'm certain, I'm comfortable, and worried. Okay, so these are the films. Okay, uh, what I want you to do is think about one sentence using this vocabulary, and I will start picking random people so you can tell me one example. Okay, uh, and we're gonna work with all of these ones. If you are missing the meaning of something. You have two options. You can ask here, like maybe one of your classmates can help you. Also me, right? Uh, but if you have Google, so go with Google and find out uh, the meaning of something, right? I think the one that we haven't uh, practiced a lot is this one, homesick and grouchy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
so this is the vocabulary that we have for this section. Any question about this? Everything is clear? Any question? No questions at all? Investigated. Uh, Excuse me? I am check. Oh, you're checking. Okay. Right. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Hello, Jenny. Welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. It's nice I'm to have great. you. Thanks. How was your day? Mm, so stressful, teacher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be honest, yes. it was a good. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing, okay? Oh, very good. Now we're going to start with girls. So, so we're going to start asking girls so you can give me a sentence, So okay? Yes? So I will pick uh, like random names in, or, or if you want to volunteer with one sentence, just raise your hand so I can give you the chance. If not... I will pick at random people so you can give me one sentence using one of these, um, let's say, films, right? One of these vocabulary. Yes, you can like uh, make whatever you want, but the only thing I need is one sentence using one of these ones. Yes. Okay. Do you understand people at home? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, let's begin with Sara. Hello, Sara. Good evening. Thank you. Give me a sentence, Hello. please. Thank you. Go ahead. You can pick okay. whatever you want. Okay. Just... Okay. I get depressed when I remember my school days. <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Carla, Selena, thank you. You're next. Hello, Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. Can you participate, Carla Selena? Selena, can you participate? Yes. Oh, thank you. Please go ahead. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat me, please? Oh, just Request. pick up one of these vocabulary and make one sentence. Mm. Um, harmful. I anxious. Okay, can you give me a sentence, please? Thank you. Okay. My exams. I feel anxious. Okay. One more time. When I have my exam, I feel anxious or I am anxious. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Jenny, you're next. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, I'm feeling um, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Come on, teacher. Uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable. When... I I wanna work. I wanna to work. Okay. So, oh no 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 no. I feeling comfortable when I go to my work. Okay, so like I am or I feel. I feel. Okay. I'm. Feel. Very good. Thank you. I feel comfortable. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Marlene, you're next. Thank you. Okay, teacher. I feel worried because my little girl is really sick and today has been a really bad day. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about it. Okay, I'm sorry to hear about it and I hope she gets well soon. Thank you. Okay. Um, that's that's not good when you're a parent and, and you have that uh, like situation it's, it's, it's not good right yeah thank you so much for sharing and I'm sorry to hear about it um okay Olga 
Hello, Olga. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Thank oh, you so thank much. You, it's nice to have you. We are making some sentences using this vocabulary. So if you see this vocabulary is used already, so I need to select other ones and make a one sentence, just one. Just pick one and make a sentence. Okay. Um, helpful. Okay. Helpful. Uh, I feel hopeful about the construction, the new street, the new Los Choro Street, <laughs> because the traffic is horrible. Absolutely. You had every day. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's like. <laughs> A lot of time, a lot of time wasted over there, right? It's not good. It's not healthy. Yeah, to spend a lot of time in that traffic. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope that they fix that as soon as possible. Okay, Um, let me see who else. Okay, Jenny did it. Okay, Michelle Beatriz Diaz, thank you. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Thank you, teacher. Uh, I'm very nervous when I play the play the piano. Sorry, because um, the teacher was watching me. Oh, perfect. Good. Okay. So you get nervous or you were nervous? Gets nervous. Okay. Because the teacher uh, watches you or was watching you? Was watching me. So in that one, you have one sentence in present and another sentence in past. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So that's why I'm asking you, be careful when you mix the two, right? So either you talk about the past or you talk about the present. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Is that something in the past? Go with the past. If that is something in the present, go with the present. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you so Thank much. You. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Janet Carolina Rivera. Thank you. Hello, Janet. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Janet. Hello, hello, Janet. Janet Carolina Rivera, are you there? No, okay. So we're gonna work with boys right now. Okay, so be ready. Um the the same way. You just gotta make a sentence using this vocabulary. Base of K with semita alta, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't it wasn't good. Uh, let's begin with you, Giovanni. Welcome. Good evening. Nice to have you. Good evening, teacher. I'm so sorry. I had a, an issue with my mic before. Okay, you said that yes, we need to make a sentence with one of the words, right? Yep. Wonderful. Oh, let me see. Okay. Um, tonight I feel so cheerful. Oh, that's good. That's good. Let me find it because I don't find. Oh, cheerful. Yeah. It's the second one. Yeah. yeah thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I was looking for that one, but yeah, very good. Thank you so much. Perfect, right? Easy. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Oh, can you participate? Yes or no? Uh, okay. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Hello, Roberto. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. No? Okay. Maybe wow, he has... that, actually, that's so weird. <laughs> Almost always he's here. I mean, he is here, but I don't know. Probably he's, Roberto, he's having a, and uh, he's busy now. Probably that's why he doesn't answer. Okay. Oh, he's working. That's why he's yeah. running the chat. Yeah. Oh, thank you. No problem, Roberto. Thank you so much for letting me know. I understand that. Uh, okay, let's go with Edgar Fernando Portillo. Thank you, Edgar. 
Hello, hello, Edgar. Edgar, hello, hello. Jesus. Oh, no. Edgar, are you busy now? Let's work with Neftali. Hello, Neftali. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Sure. It's nice to here. have you. Welcome. Thank you, um, teacher. Do me a favor, please. Uh, give me one sentence. Tell okay, me one I feel, sentence. I feel fascinated when I respond to good to teacher when he asks me some question. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, right. That's good. Thank you so much. Oh, oh very good, Roberto. Yes. Everything is perfect. Everything is perfect, Roberto. Very good. Wendy, thank you so much for letting me know. I got you here. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, Neftali, that was very good. Thank you. Um, let me see who's missing. I think this... Oh, no. Uh, okay. What about you, uh, Lino? Can you participate? Let me know. Mm -hmm. No. Jose Lino, can you participate? <laughs> yes or no? No? Okay. So uh, remember, don't forget to try to use the vocabulary uh, little by little. Yes, yeah, so you get used to. There is one thing that I would like to tell you, tell you about this. Sometimes that happens to me. Teacher. Yes, Jose? Sorry, sorry. Thank you. And speak English, please. My sentence. Yes, go ahead. Feel, Tell me a sentence. I, I feel nervous at an exhibition. Exhibition is correct. No. Nervous, yes, yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lino. That's good. Um, yes, I was talking about like um sometimes it kills me when when um I don't use the vocabulary, you know what I mean? Sometimes because of the area we work, or sometimes because of the I don't know, the, the kind of vocabulary we, we we use every single day. Sometimes we tend to um forget uh, vocabulary, yeah, from different, let's say, I don't know, topics. Yes. So uh, my suggestion is like, I practice a little bit of everything, right? A little bit of, I don't know, feelings. That's what we have here. Uh, in some cases, maybe sometimes we will have nature. Sometimes we have vocabulary about cars about i don't know work vocabulary office vocabulary um sometimes simple things like um daily basic activities sometimes we tend to forget and 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 it is not like run on that one what happened is like because we don't use it we forget that yes and, and then what we want to when we try to use it one more time yeah, we, we don't remember Right. So um my suggestion is try to um practice every single day, okay, uh, a little bit of English, right? So that's that will help you. Um Giovanni, thank you. Go ahead. Yes, I have a quick question for you, teacher, and it's regarding this this topic feelings. Uh, when we're making a sentence, we need to um to write or to say it feel I feel in that way or um, are we able to say it that we are with her be? For example, uh, I can say it, I think, right? I guess I am rude or I feel rude. Oh, excuse me. What is what is that? Oh, yes. Actually, we, uh, yeah. Yes, we can use both of them. We can use both of them. It, it, like, I am proud of you. Sometimes we say this one, proud, or I feel proud of you. Yeah, at the end, it's, it's the same. Mm hmm yeah, not in all of them, I guess, but uh, in most of the cases, we can combine them, okay? Uh, I am worried about, um, I don't know, tomorrow's uh, homework, or mm -hmm. I feel worried. 
So in that one, if you see, I am worried it go fits better than feel. So uh, it's like um, we can use both of them, I guess, somehow, uh, and you decide which one fits better. Because uh, as you may know, word to be zero star. So, uh, for example, this one, anxious, cheerful, comfortable, confident, curious, uh, depressed, uh, embarrassed, enthusiastic, excited. Uh, yeah, with most of them, it fits. Yeah, so you can use the word feel if you want to, or you can use the word to be if you want. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. But, um, is there any any rule or something like that to make sure about it? Or yes, it's like, this sounds better in pretty context, right? Yeah, I don't I don't think that there is a rule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As far as I know, like I mean, the one that I use the most is verb to be. Because mm -hmm. I love that one. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So I mm -hmm. yeah, I use <laughs> verb to be a lot because that thing is everywhere. Like yeah, the verb feel. The <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's everywhere. So the verb feel, yes, it's good, but um if that is my case, my option to select which one, uh, I will go with verb to be because that's simple. Yeah, that's okay. simple and it's straight to the point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Thank oh, you so much. That's a nice no, question. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. I my really pleasure. Great job. Okay, well, here we're going to have a little bit of feelings one more time. We have anxious and we are going to complete this chart from uh, your vocabulary log. Remember the vocabulary? And uh, we're going to have like the same thing, right? So just give me one uh, feeling. Yes. And then we're going to give you give me one sentence. Okay. Like the way you did it before. And it's here. It says, you look anxious. What's the matter? Where I'm waiting for my final graves. Uh, do you think you pass? Uh, I'm not sure. I study hard, but the exams were really hard. So, um, as you may know, there are positive adjectives and sometimes we have negative adjectives, right? Yes. So um, it, it's like, if you mention something negative, well, somebody will ask you, oh, why? Oh, what's the matter with that? Okay, so uh, you need to give a little bit of explanation about it, right? So yeah, in this scenario, anxious and waiting for my final grade. So, so that makes you anxious, right? Uh, so you wanna know what's your grade. And then, <laughs> do you think you pass? Yes, that's straight to the point. Yeah, it's straight. <laughs> do you think? Do you think you pass? Oh, no, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. So that's why he's anxious because he's not sure. Like, is he passed? Okay. Thank you. That's a good one. Actually, it's up to you now. I'm getting you. Well, in, in this course, it's easier because it's up to you. Like, um, actually, yes, that means that the exercise that you do in, in the platform did get gray automatically. So that's your gray, you know, the exercise that you do. And also the practice that we have here, right? But um, pretty much everybody works here, which is wonderful. And the idea is you practice as much as you can. So Jenny, give me one feeling and then one sentence, please. Thank you. Excited. Okay. Thank you. Can you spell excited, please, Jenny? Oh. E. Uh huh. X. Yes. A. T. C. E. E. D. Maybe. D. <laughs> excited. Okay. Sarah, do you think this is correct? Yes or no? No. Thank you. What's the misspelling? spelling? It E. Uh huh. X T I. Yeah, like that. Thank you. Excited. Very X, good. E, excited. excited. Exactly. Very good, Jenny. Very good. Now give me a sentence, Jenny, please. Uh, I'm excited because my my bestie gave me flowers today. 
Oh, Jesus. What is that? Tell me why, please. I am excited. Uh -huh. Is there a reason? Is because uh, the new tradition <laughs> to give uh, yellow flowers to the import the important people. Okay. By me or my best friend or my my boyfriend or my family. Okay. Flowers, right? That's what you told me. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm excited because my friend gave me flowers. That's correct? Yellow flowers. Yellow flowers. Oh, oh, just to be a specific. Yellow. Oh yes, today, today oh, is the new challenge. Jesus tradition. Christ. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited because my friend gave me. Oh, I didn't know about it. Are those expensive? <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah. Is the new tradition from Argentina? <laughs> is that is that from this song? A yellow flowers, a floricienta. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, there is a song that is Flores Amarias, right? Yes. Oh my gosh! Look at that one, people. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. To hear. Thank you so much for sharing. Very good. Thank you. Okay, and uh, let's continue with you, Sarah. Give me a, a, a feeling, please. Thank you. Uh, worried. Oh, oh, can you spell worried, please, just to be sure? O R R I E <laughs> D. Thank you. Okay. Give me a sentence. I'm worried. Um, oh. Because I have an uh, exam tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to use the contraction this one. Okay. okay. It is incorrect, right? Oh, Jesus. I forgot. How do you write because? B E. B as in boy, E as in elephant, E as in Charlie. Mm hmm. A as an apple, U as an umbrella, S as in sample, and E as an elephant. Thank you, because. And where, because you told me, what is next? I have an exam tomorrow. Oh, really? Is that true? Yes. Oh, is it difficult? <laughs> uh, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's very good. Okay, perfect. Yes, I'm worried because I have an exam. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, that's, 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 that's. You should be worried about it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, it's an exam. Yes. I remember when I used to do exams, right? Yeah. Yeah, not anymore. Well, I actually, I do the exams. Yeah, but somebody else takes those exams. Yeah, so that's, that's, because that's, that's good for me, right? Not for them, but that's good for me. Carla, Selena, thank you. Give me a feeling, please. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, excited? Oh, we have it here on the top already. Oh, so, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> can you pick another one, please? Okay. Uh, enthusiastic. Okay, can you spell that, please? Thank you. E. M T H U C eight E S T E C. I don't know. Like this one? No. <laughs> okay, okay. Can you like tell me one more time, please? Okay. And I will E E F T H U S and Perfect. After U is S 
es I get A yes S T I in C Thank you. Do you hear that noise, Carla? Like okay. do you hear a, a noise? Do you hear that noise? No? Nothing? No. Thank you so much. Very good. Enthusiastic. Yeah. Enthusiastic. Okay, Esta cosa is difficult to pronounce. Enthusiastic. Okay. Give me a sentence, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I was uh, enthusiastic. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Go give me a minute, please. Yeah. I was enthusiastic when, when, when my family oh that's very good family mm -hmm. it's getting good when my family um makes a secret party or okay this is present or is past uh past okay made made okay. a Made um a surprise. 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 Oh, yeah. Surprise party. Oh, that's very good, right? Look at that one, people. Yeah. A surprise party. Everybody loves that, right? Everybody loves surprise party. Pretty much those are expensive. Yeah, that's why you get surprised. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, let me get you. Uh, let me see. Okay. Neftali. Hello, Neftali. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Go ahead. Give me one fill in here. Okay. Uh, comfortable. Oh. Comfortable. Okay. Comfortable. Ah, oh, Jesus. Comfortable. Um, give me a sentence, please. Okay, I feel comfortable learning English because it's an amazing language. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, it's wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's good. Comes to Paul. Learning English, right? Okay. Oh, Jesus. English, um, because you told me, right? Is easy to learn, you told me, right? Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Easy to learn. Correct it's me if amazing. I... Oh, it's amazing. Oh, amazing. It's amazing. Yes. It's oh, amazing. like Aerosmith, right? It's amazing. Because, because it's amazing languages. <laughs> oh, language. Language. Thank you. Correct me if I make a mistake here. Okay. Yes, we need to uh, to take care about the word easy. It's Yes, I did a mistake here. Mm -hmm. Because is too amazing. It's an amazing language, I guess. Okay, is is I feel comfortable learning English because yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over there I, like because we have is is yeah, very good. So what how how we fix this one? Only delete that word. Yeah, but I need to add something else. Oh, Jesus. Give me a break. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Give me a minute, please. Because this thing, like, did it for me already. So I'm going to use this one. Okay, so we can and fix this one. don't forget the verb after I. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. And also here we have the verb to be, right? Oh, I failed. So he told me, right? I, oh, jeez. I failed at something that. <laughs> I feel comfortable learning English because it's an amazing language. Yeah, I think I think that that's that's good, right? Thank you so much. Okay. Yes. Any question about this? No. Let me see what. Oh, jeez. I need to take the attendance, people. Give me a minute. Okay.
Give me a minute. Very good. Oh, oh, gee. here we go. Here we go. Okay, I need to move here. Okay, uh, Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. No, she isn't. What about? Oh, come on. What's going on? Okay, what about um Edgar Fernando Portillo? Edgar, you told me that Edgar Fernando Portillo, are you here? Edgar Fernando is here, but yeah, he wrote in the chat, right? Very good. Giovanni Stanley uh, Flores Salazar, welcome. Good evening. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Hello, Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. No, she isn't. Okay. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez, thank you. Good evening, Jose. Okay. Nice to have you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. I think Karen, she's still having some inconvenience, right? Yes. Um, I think we don't have her here. No. Yeah, but I, I, she told me something about having, like, okay, thank you. Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. Good evening. Nice to have you. Present, teacher. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. No, she isn't. What about Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona? Present, teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. And welcome, Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you, Michelle. It's nice to have you. Uh, Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Thank Present you, teacher. Neftali. Welcome. Uh, Olga Marleni Gomez Rios. Present teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Let me check, Oscar. Um, I think Oscar is in here. Right? I don't see him. No, he isn't. Okay, thank you. What about um, Roberto Eduardo? You're here, right? Thank you so much. Uh, Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Wendy is el Cecilia Armolina Rosales. Thank you so much. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Welcome, everybody. Let me check the chat really quick because somebody sent a message here. Uh, Janet Carolina. Okay, Janet. Give me a minute. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Somebody else here? Uh, well, no. Okay. Give me a minute. Did okay. you take the attendance for Roberto? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, well. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, okay, dokie. Thank you. We're going to work with the following exercise. Read the information about different customs and find um, oh, give me a minute. and find four pairs of countries which contrasting customs write the countries in the lines below. Okay? So the first thing is we're going to read the information as you may know. This is this is the these are the countries and here we have customs, right? Yes. And we're gonna find four pairs, so four pairs of countries which contrasting with the customs. For example, Brazil and Japan. So this is Brazil. Friends kiss each other three or four times on the cheeks as a greeting. And in Japan, people bow when they see or meet someone they know. Yes. So in this one, there is a like a close let's say i don't know uh, a greeting right so you get close to the person so you can greet this one but in japan it's quite the opposite just bow just bow and there is a distance right between the people uh, when they greet for the first when they greet right yes so um that's the way we're gonna do it let's begin with you um let me see lino please read lino the country and then the custom please thank you Okay, read uh, 
Brazil. Friends is each other three or four or four times on the cheeks as a greeting. Then Denmark. People generally arrive on time for most occasions. Egypt. People allow their hosts to treat them or meals in restaurants. France. Service is usually included in the price of a meal in restaurants. Japan. People bow when they see or meet someone they know. New Thailand. People usually pay for their own meals in restaurants. Spain. People usually arrive late for most appointments. United States. People leave a tip of 16, 20% in restaurants. Thank you so much. Now, uh, we're going to make some pairs of countries that um, their custom contrasts. Yes. So what are those? Number two, for example. Any idea? Spain and Denmark. Oh, that's right. Thank you. We have Spain. Yeah. If you read the Spain custom, right? Uh, it's somehow different, right? It's a, give me a break. Spain and uh, Denmark. Yeah. So if you see, for example, in Spain, uh, people usually arrive late for most appointments. So you see, yeah, they get late. Yeah. And then in Denmark, ah, yeah, this is capital letter. I'm sorry. People generally arrive on time. So it's the opposite, right? That is the contrast, it's the opposite. Yes, uh, for most occasions. So they're like punctual people, but here in Spain, like they're late always. Very good. Uh, tell me another pair of countries, please. And I don't know. New Zealand. Egypt? Oh, okay. Thank you. Let me write it here. Egypt? Okay, Egypt. Egyptian. Oh, give me a break. Egypt. And you told me, what is the other one? New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Ah, New Zealand, very good. Okay, so very good. So uh, in Egypt, people allow their host to treat them. To meals in restaurants, okay. And in Zealand, uh, I'm sorry, New Zealand, people usually pay for their own meals in restaurants. Oh, look at that one. That sounds interesting. Yeah, that's pretty much very nice. People usually um pay for their own meals in restaurants. So, wow, that's great. That's great. Teacher, and could be uh, France and United States. Let me see. France, people leave a tip up to 15 to 20% in restaurants. That's unbelievable. And the other one is France. You told me right. France, oh, service is usually included in the price of a meal. Oh, yeah. That is true. Thank you. United States. Oh, I forgot. Okay, stays and friends. And friends, very good. States, I guess, teacher. Excuse me? Oh, thank you so much. I wrote it in past participle. <laughs> United 
United States. Very good. Thank you so much, Giovanni. And friends, yeah, that's that's quite interesting. What is one custom that from here in El Salvador that is quite similar to one of these uh one of these ones that we have here from these countries? What is something that we share with one of these countries? People didn't want to get right on time. <laughs> you know, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Spain, right? <laughs> okay, it's like this one. We don't share this one. People usually arrive late for most appointments. Is that true? Or <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> when you have a birthday party, they usually like the birthday party is at three and they arrive at four. It's like <laughs> and it's hard to five. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Yes. So it's like, oh wait, where are, are they coming? And you're like, no, yeah, don't worry. They're going to be here. <laughs> They're late. Yes, very good. That, that's true, right? And what about what about this one, the tip? What about the tip here in El Salvador? Yeah. Is it good or not good? Like, uh, do we, it's do we like, volunteer give tips or, like, is already in the bill? It's in the bill. It's in some restaurants. Yeah, in, in, in most of the restaurant, it comes in the bill already, right? When you go to, for example, a Pollo Campero, right? Yeah, they charge you, like, in the bill. So it, it's there already. So you need to pay for that. Yeah. Um. Thank you so much. But look at this one. It's 15 and 20%. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yes, you buddy. That's what I thought. It's like, <laughs> are you rich or something like that? Because, like, if you spend, for example, I don't know, of like 100, so you need to give like $20. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, but, but I don't know. Yeah. Okay. You tell me, like, I don't know if you work like in a, in a restaurant. So that's, well, here in El Salvador, it's, it's quite difficult to work in a restaurant. Right. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to complete the sentences with the information about yourself and about your country. So this is about yourself and your country, okay? One reason I'd feel homesick abroad is... Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you understand what is the meaning of homesick? Homesick. Um, Carla Selena, what is the meaning of this vocabulary, homesick? One reason I feel homesick. Oh, uh, homesick, I think so. Staying home. Staying home? Uh -huh. Yeah, it is when related. I feel bad. Yeah, it is, it is something like related to it, like it is about staying home, but in particularly, when Either do you feel me is pupusas. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, personally, one reason I feel homesick abroad is I'll miss pupusas. Okay, very good. Is um okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Uh son, uh one reason I feel some is what is the compliment? Because we're gonna write because. Um, I'll yeah. I'll give me a minute. Me miss pupusas. pupusas. Oh yes, that's right. I saw yeah, that's, that's 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 hundred percent true. Homesick is like the way your classmate was talking about. Like homesick is like when you miss something or when you feel let's say nostalgic about something, right? Maybe your relatives, maybe the weather. The weather is another one, right? We miss the weather. <laughs> If you travel, if you travel to Canada, right, you stay like there for like six months, <laughs> then you, then you realize, oh my gosh, el tunco, yeah, yes, it's a calorcito, right, that we have here every day. People they miss there, they miss that thing over there. Yeah, very good, thank you. Um, something that would fascinate me would be, oh, that's a good one. You travel to France. Oh, very good. Will be travel, you told me? Yeah. To Japan. 
Oh, that's another country. Well, this one is Japan. Go together, right? my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go together. Oh, yeah, Yeti, that was very good, right? Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah, something that uh, that will be fascin that would fascinate me would be travel to oh very good. Creo que hice un mistake ahí. ¿Cuál es el mistake? Mm -hmm. Go to travel. Ah, uh, excuse me. Go to travel. No. I wanna travel. No. Traveling or to travel, I think. Yes, very good. Yes, I made a falta in here. Will be traveling. Traveling to Japan. Okay, so I will write it here. Yes. Uh, traveling. Yeah, traveling. What about if I write a letter L here? Is that correct? Yes or no? Traveling. No. With double L is British and with one L is uh, American English. Okay, yes, traveling. That should be the correct one. Uh, something that uh, would fascinate me be uh, traveling to Japan. Very good. Number three, traveling. Mire, aquí tenemos, eh? Traveling alone is... <laughs> traveling alone is something? Worried. Okay, yeah, very good. Worried. Uh-huh. Come quedaría? Mm. I can say that, maybe. That worried. worried. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, we're going to change it, okay. Traveling alone is something. Uncomfortable. Yes, very good. But how do I make the sentence like traveling alone is something? Uncomfortable. Uh huh. Okay. That. Oh, let's say that makes. That makes Comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, that makes me. Thank you so much. Very good. Yeah, I know, but I'm expecting you to tell me. Okay, that makes me. <laughs> that makes me. Uh huh. What is the verb that I need here? That goes with Feel. um um comfortable. Very good. Fear. Okay. Um. Okay, okay, like this one. Yes, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Let me know anytime. Uh, traveling alone is something that makes me feel uncomfortable. That is true, right? If you travel to La Union, yeah, alone, yeah, that's yeah, you should be with somebody else. Or if you travel to, I don't know, I don't know, Argentina, right? And you get some uh, yellow flowers that with that, you know. That's not good. <laughs> okay. So you should be with somebody else. Getting used to hot weather is one thing. Oh, this one is, is difficult. Uh -huh. <laughs> Getting used to hot weather. Hot weather, like, like, like here, right? Getting used to hot weather is one thing. Peter, we can use... Disgusting or this, this. Oh, because it's like getting used, like, like for example, if you travel to Brazil, for example, the weather over there, how is it? Like, and 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 like you need to live there, so you need to get used to, yeah, you know what I mean. So, getting used to hot weather is one thing. Maybe that I hate 
getting used to a hot weather is something that I hate. Or, or it's a hard. Okay, very good. Thank you. So how do I make? Oh, Jesus, with my minutes. Okay, uh, what is what is the sentence here? Very good. Yeah, hard. Yes, that one fits it's... here. That make me feel. That mm, in that context, uh, we don't need feel because it's like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So let's let's add the one that you told me, right? Hard. Getting used to hot weather is one thing hard. To Just. Me. Oh, very good, thank you. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I think that's that's okay, right? Getting used to hot weather is one thing hard for me. That is true, right? Sometimes it's hard. Or also if you can write the opposite, right? What is the opposite of this one? Because it's like, oh, I don't know if getting used to cold weather is one thing hard for me, right? If, if you travel to another country where the weather is, is, is cold. Thank you. In, in, let's say, it's the custom to, I'm gonna write El Salvador here, solo para ayudarles un poquito, a little bit over here. Okay, in El Salvador, in El Salvador, okay. In El Salvador, it's the custom to. Mm, it purposes on. <laughs> And the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. It was... oh, okay, very good. On oh, the weekend, very good. Oh, Jesus. Okay, on oh, the weekend, very good. Yeah. I, I think like everybody agrees. Everybody agrees with this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, this one is good. Um, the... <laughs> If you Giovanni, have... Giovanni say arrive late to the meetings. Oh, let me see. <laughs> oh, that is true. Hundred percent. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's absolutely true. They they do that. They don't care. They don't care. That's, that's your relative. Is that a friend? Like a neighbor? They don't. They don't care. They do that. Yeah, very good. If you have one good service in a restaurant, oh look at that one. If you have a good service in a restaurant. What is the compliment here? Uh huh. Like, what do you do? Like, if you go to a restaurant and and the like, the waiter or waitress uh, gives you good service. What do you usually do? You live propina. Exactly, Carla. Very sí. good. You live propina. How do you say that? Okay. Sí. Okay. 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 I want to write. It's the custom. It's the custom. I want to write here, one. To live. How do you say propina in English? Sí. Sí. Very good. What is how much is the tip here in the Salvador? Um, Maybe one, one dollar. <laughs> 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 the pain of your heart. <laughs> is that in the restaurant? Ten or fifty percent. Me always give one dollar. <laughs> one cora. <laughs> no, no one believe dollar. me, it's like Lido. I, I was asking this question because. Last weekend, <laughs> uh, with my students, we were working about tipping in El Salvador. And mm -hmm. how much is the tipping here in El Salvador, right? How much is that? So, uh, and it's 10%. Like, here in El Salvador, it's 10%. So, when you said, when you said, oh, it's $1. So, I figured it out, oh, if he spends $10, so he needs to give $1. Yeah. 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 So, uh, that makes sense, right? Yes. <laughs> the tip here in El Salvador is, is 10%. That's what they told me. Yes. 10%. Yes. 10%. Yes. Very good. 
Um, so um, thank you so much, everybody. I think it's almost time. So we finished, as you may know. Thank you so much for uh, staying here during this module. I really appreciate all the things you did, all your participations, and um, thank you so much for, uh, um, I don't know, for helping me out with this process, which is learning English. Right? Everybody learns here. I learn from you, uh, which is pretty amazing. Uh, I'm glad to meet people like that little uh, girl that is in front of the camera next to Marlene. Right? So nice to meet you. Yeah. So thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Don't forget to keep learning and be nice and be kind. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank my you, pleasure. Teacher. Thank, thank, you, teacher. thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. God bless you. Nice to meet you, everybody. Yeah. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Oh, bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, she's very cute. Thank you. <laughs>